April 29th, Saturday, 2.15, Mountain Time, 2017. Look at the UV. 12.3, solid. And that's in the direct sunlight, but no spray, no clouds. There's a few clouds over towards the uh, New Mexico border, but nothing at all here. And the UV is a solid 12.2, 12.3, and it's showing an eight. So if you're outside, use a little extra precaution today, especially for the next couple of hours. Once the sun starts to get a little lower in the sky, then it'll tone down some. But this is kind of surprising. I'm usually seeing the higher readings before noon. I decided to check it this afternoon just on a whim, and I'm glad I did. 12.3. Well, you can see in the lower right, 1239 is the highest reading that I've got. And that's at 215 in the afternoon. So if you're outside, use extra precaution. Carry portable shade, wear a hat, long sleeves. I do have on long sleeves. I do practice what I preach. So there you have it, guys. 12 plus. That's uh, above extreme, just so you know. 11 is extreme. Be safe out there, guys. Thanks for this watching. This is an extension of the UV reading video. It's April 29th. It's evening. I've just added this on to the uh, UV reading that you just saw. This is 6.30 radar that we're looking at. 6.30 p.m. radar out of Oklahoma, near the Oklahoma City area. And I'm noticing something very unusual. I just wanted to document it, so I just threw it on the end of this video, opposed to making another entire video. Even though it's a totally different subject, this is how I'm going to do it. See this line, this arc? Those black squares represent lightning strikes. Normally, like you see down here, they're very, very random. They're all over the place. The bigger the squares, the newer the lightning strikes. The smaller the squares means that they're 20 minutes old and are about to be um, expired off of the map. But for some reason, from just parallel to Oklahoma City, up near Wichita, you see a very distinct arc. A row of bent, like a bent row of lightning. I've never seen that on this, this map before ever. So, for whatever it's worth, there it is. And I just wanted to document that because I have no clue what that is. And I've been watching these radar maps for 15 years. And that's a first. So that's why I felt like I should share it. The purple squares that you're seeing popping up, those are possible tornadoes. Whether they're on the ground or not, at, at this uh, point, I don't know. They're moving north, slightly northeast towards Tulsa. Uh, Joplin, that's if they stay organized, but when they last more than a couple of frames, that means 12, or I'm sorry, each frame is 7 minutes. So if it's 2 frames, that's 14 minutes. Pretty good chance it's on the ground. So there's 4 right there just in the area near Oklahoma City. A lot of lightning, and this storm, yet again, has just been a mind bender. That thing is extremely intense, and it's getting stronger yet again. And it's already 8.30 Eastern Time. Um, it's almost dark in this area here. It's 7.30 Central. And I've been watching in this area here in Eastern Missouri. Look at the entire state of Illinois, the entire state of Missouri. I remember back in the day, um, and it's been many years ago, when you would have a thunderstorm outbreak and you would literally be looking at county to county well there was a, a storm approaching you know morgan county and then possibly part of northern sagamon county and and nowadays it's just the entire state 
the entire state is under a severe thunderstorm warning, not a couple of counties like it used to be. And if you click on uh, se severe, look what shows up. Everything's green. So it's just like three states are just under severe thunderstorm warning, not just a couple of counties like it used to be. But that was many years ago. In fact, it was probably about 15 years ago when I started really watching these radar loops. Um, right after the internet was conceived, you know. And these loops started to improve as time moved forward. And it was about 15 years ago they got pretty good. Um, but prior to that, you know, it was always, you know, we got storms in, you know, just a few counties. Now it's just entire states. And that's pretty much the common trend. That is very intense. And there are more tornadoes. What I just showed you was right there. So it looks the same through Missouri, through southeastern Kansas, um, all through the St. Louis area, up through Illinois. We saw three in that system there that just moved into Indiana. Saw three twisters in a row drop down, and they did stay on the radar screen for a couple of cycles. So that's 14 minutes it detected rotation. So more than likely, at least one of those was on the ground for a while. And that is just strengthening. You can just tell it's recycling. It strengthens, recycles, and then strengthens again. Now it's up into, well, it's just morphing into a huge superstorm. That's exactly what it is. And when I saw it develop this morning, I knew this was something that was really going to hit hard. And it has. So we'll know as the night rolls on and see what tomorrow brings, but this is supposed to continue throughout the night and I think into tomorrow too. Flooding and evacuations in Missouri and Oklahoma and it's still pouring. So we'll have to see what tomorrow brings, but I wanted to just add this on instead of making another video. I've already done two videos on these on these storms or this one storm that's creating many storms, but you can tell it's one unit with many pockets of energy in it, but it's moving as one. Very odd, very odd. But anyway, be safe out there, guys. Thanks for watching.